Remember when we ran out of toilet paper? <laughs> the fuck kind of pandemic is this? Ran out of toilet paper. I've never seen humans turn into monsters. Just on the news, you just saw people with shopping carts filled with rolls of toilet paper running to their car, and then someone right behind them chasing them like, my asshole is itchy too, bitch. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with my itchy asshole, <laughs> bitch? <laughs> Scared me. People beating up people for toilet paper like there was no other solution. My mom was ready for a toilet paper shortage. She's been preparing for that toilet paper shortage since the day she got to this country. When people ran out of toilet paper, my mom was like, what is going on? I don't understand. My mom has never ran out of toilet paper. My mom can use one roll of toilet paper for a year. A year. And I know there's women in here going, how the fuck is that possible? I'll tell you how. And this only goes to the women that aren't Filipino. I'm gonna tell you a secret that my mom does and the reason why she never runs out of toilet paper. And this is only to the women that aren't Filipino. When my mom pees, she doesn't wipe. <laughs> oh, I heard a woman right there go, ew, look, she's covering her mouth. And she waved, look, right there in the jeans. Jean Jack, she went, ah, oh. like it was a, like, oh my God. Oh my God, and then she went like this, oh, that was me. That's, ew, ew, look at her. I'm gonna tell you why, what's your name? Eileen, let me tell you why. She doesn't use paper, all right, Eileen? Because she washes it with water, so ill you bitch, don't you ever disrespect <laughs> my mom's pussy in Los Angeles. My mom's pussy is the cleanest pussy in Los Angeles. <laughs> and I take that back. I, I, I didn't mean bitch like in term of endearment. <laughs> I love you. I used to say the same thing, Eileen. I did, I used to be like, Mom, why don't you just wipe? Just wipe. And my mom, quick, with the quickness. You want me to just wipe? You think that's clean, Joseph? I go pee pee and then wipe, just wipe pee pee all over my backpack? That's clean to you, Joseph? Just pee pee and then smear the pee pee all over the backpack? And make it salty, salty backpack? I wash it, Joseph, with water, oh, brand new, <laughs> brand, brand new. <laughs> what? If you really think about it, that's brilliant. She's right. Look at her, she was prepared. Never ran out of toilet paper and never had a salty pussy. <laughs> Look, women are agreed. I see some women going, you know what? I, uh, yeah. It's a brilliant idea. Maybe one of those dog, you know those portable dog dishes? The one that fan out and you close it and it looks just like a little circle and then it pops up and it's a little... Maybe bring that around. <laughs> that, that's what my mom has. It's a, it's a different version, she calls it a tabo. <laughs> the cup. There's a lot of people in here going, what's a tabo? especially the ones that aren't Filipino, I'm gonna tell you what a tabo is. A tabo can be anything. A coffee mug with a broken handle. An empty I can't believe it's not butter container. Or my mom's favorite, a super big gulp cup. Because it holds 44 ounces of water, Joseph. I can really clean it, huh? And my mom's tabo sits in the same spot it always sat in since the day she moved to this country. Between the, between the shower and the toilet. That little area right there is called tabo lane. And that's where my mom's special cup sits. And I know there's a lot of guys in here that aren't Filipino go, why are you telling us this, Joe Coy? Well, I'll tell you why. Say you start dating a Filipino chick and things go well. You hook up one night and you stay the night at her house. You wake up the next morning, you brush your teeth, and you're like, I need a cup. Don't use that fucking cup. That cup is not for your mouth.
my mom and dad divorced when I was about 10, 11 years old. And there's four of us. There's Robert, Rowena, Gemma, and myself. And whatever my mom needed, she got. She was the mother and the father. I've always said this. And no matter what she asked for, you got it for her. You don't question her. You get it. And we listened to our mom. But here's the thing. No matter what she asked for. Sometimes my mom would go to the bathroom and forget to fill her table. <laughs> and of course, the youngest would have to fill it. It always, it always happened when there were friends at the house. <laughs> Just playing with my friends in the living room, and then all of a sudden I hear, Joseph! <laughs> Joseph! And I could tell by the acoustics <laughs> that my mom forgot to fill her double. <laughs> Joseph! <laughs> Joseph! My friend would walk up to me, why are you ignoring your mom? And I'd be like, you don't want to know what the fuck she wants. <laughs> But just shut up. Joseph, I hear you! Fuck! I'd walk so slow down that hallway. <laughs> Open up that bathroom door and there she is. Sitting there with her tabo. What took you so long? It's all dried up already. Build that up for me. God! I get so mad. God! I'm too old for this, Mom. I should be seeing this. I'm too old, Mom! My mom would be like, see what? Joseph. Joseph. Turn around. Turn around. See what? This? You used to live here. This was your old house before we moved into this house. <laughs> <laughs>